Hi, I'm Siege Tantenko, Puma Podcast. You're listening to Teka Teka News. Balitang thinking, hindi breaking. If you scroll through your social media feeds, you're bound to see that at least one of your friends is hitting the gym, followed by a post of a healthy meal and maybe even a meditation session. More and more people are discovering the benefits of a holistic approach to health. And runner Lexi Noval is no different. In this episode, you'll hear an excerpt from our sports podcast, Go Hard Girls, where we get to know the Iligan-born fitness guru and runner, and what it took for her to overcome decades of insecurities to be more comfortable in her own skin, and why she founded a community to help other women do the same. Hello everyone, I'm Lexi Noval. I'm the lead trainer and running coach for Under Armour Philippines. I'm a fitness enthusiast and I love fitness for its social aspect. Lexi moved to Manila for college, studying in the University of the Philippines and joining the competitive UP pep squad. When you're in the competing team in cheerleading, there's only five spots and 60 plus members. So even though you were friends, there was that internal pressure like, oh my God, I still have to be better than all of these people. And I think I was also very scared to make a mistake. I was scared to go chess. So I was very compressed in my own world. I couldn't talk to people as much. I couldn't um, engage with people as much. Yeah, what, yeah. what I'm hearing I, when I hear your story is you knew you wanted to excel and parang from a young age, you were carrying all of that. And it must have been really hard to come to Manila. And, you know, you want to make friends, but at the same time, you're competing. And it's that must have been really tough. Yeah, like I need this to work in my life to <laughs> be better. I think it was also family pressure in a sense. Because growing up, there was like inside of me a phrase that kept on playing. Don't embarrass your family. Think about your family name every time you do something first. Seen any role models more before? In my team, I didn't admire anyone specifically. Uh, just having realizations talking to you. I didn't admire anyone, but I was jealous of a lot of people. So that was why I was not able to connect so much with the people surrounding me. And because I was jealous of them, I didn't bother talking to them. They were very good people, and I'm sure if I asked for help, they would have. But I was just in that bundle of negativity at the time. I have to be better than you. So it's only now that I'm like looking back and even noticing these things about myself because I was not aware about how I was feeling in the past. That's why it was such a struggle. All this was happening in Lexi's head, but from the outside, you wouldn't have known because the UP pep squad was absolutely dominant. This was also where I had a lot of my body issue development. Body image issues in sports are common. There have actually been academic papers published specifically about cheerleading and how the revealing outfits and high-pressure environment contribute towards body image dissatisfaction and even eating disorders. After I finished my contract, I completely left. After college, Lexi took a corporate job as a graphic designer and merchandiser. But it wasn't long before she missed her active lifestyle. And then I quit my job. And at the time, one of my teammates from the pep squad was a choreographer for ABS-CBN. He invited me to start dancing with him. That's when I started going to commercials, variety shows. So I performed in a lot of concerts. And simultaneously, I started missing the mountains. And I started going to spin class more in Gold's Gym. And I hired a personal trainer because I couldn't walk across the gym by myself. Not because Lexi's muscles were sore, but because that's how bad her mental health struggles had become. I hired her mainly to walk me from the elevator to the working out area because I was so conscious of myself. 
I couldn't walk across the floor without her. I couldn't go to the studio without her. And I think she was just so proactive as a trainer when that Gold's Gym ambassadorship came out. And she knew that there was this public speaking class. She just told me, go here. Lexi didn't know it, but this moment would change her life. So they had this like competition that included maybe two months of prep where there was the public speaking workshop. There was even training. There was a contest for like strength and agility and things like that. Two months before the actual competition where it's like you're ramping on stage and things like that. They chose the top 10 and I was so flattered to be a part of that. Ironically, it was that competition for Gold's Gym that changed the way she thought about what it meant to compete. For the first time, she wasn't jealous or felt like she wanted to cry. This time, she made friends. That ambassador program was just every weekend, although we were hanging out with the other competitors at the time. That's where I experienced people really encouraging each other very sincerely, helping each other, noticing what their weaknesses are, and reaching out to everyone to help them improve. So that was like, oh my god, what kind of a group of people competing against each other, right? But wanting their competitor to be better. Once Lexi discovered that sense of community, something clicked within her. She earned a coaching certification for spinning and personal training and began teaching. Lexi started her own community called FlexFit, where she trains women and aims to help them build healthy relationships with their inner selves. I wanted to replicate the community that I experienced with Golds because I realized there has to be more women that are experiencing what I was. Those like very negative internal battles, not even knowing how you were feeling exactly and why you were feeling it and be unable to process. Over the years, Lexi has fallen in love with obstacle course racing as well. Specifically for obstacle course racing in the Spartan race, I started in 2017. That was when Spartan race first came to the Philippines. They were looking for an ambassador at the time. And I was definitely not ready. I wasn't planning to join the Spartan race that year. And there wasn't any women at the time that was signing up for the elite race. So they were asking me to join the elite race as an example for other women that they can do it. And for me, I wanted to be an example for women to prove to them that for as long as they want it in their life, if there's a will, there's a way. So I did it. Thinking about how this journey started and how I am now, I was at the time a very fear-based person. What if I can't finish? What if this person thinks of me like this? What if I tarnish my family name? What if I embarrass myself? What if there's a lot of what ifs? But right now, and I think starting that year, I was more of I'm not gonna let my fear stop me from doing what I want. I'm not going to let all of these negativity in my head stopped me from trying because I'll never know unless I try. So by this time, how has this impacted the way that you approach your body image issues? Right now, I don't even think about what people think about me. What matters for me right now is the progression of my work. All of the journal entries that I've had so far it's very based on how I was feeling, my emotions. Wow, I'm just thinking about it, it's... I don't think I've talked to myself and about how I looked in a long time. While FlexFit started as a fitness and training community, Lexi is transforming it into a safe space where the women she trains can open up about their emotions and mental health. We actually have this flex fit share session almost every weekend. This is where we open up a topic, 
and then participants share their experience regarding that topic. And a lot of the time at the very end, the participants or our flex sisters would tell us like, you know what, these are issues or topics that I thought I was alone in. I didn't think I could be able to share this because this is controversial or sensitive or I'm scared people would judge me. But being able to talk about this so openly doesn't make me feel as alone as I thought I was in the past. And it's the same for me. The Flex Sisters, the bar, are women in communities. We might not feel safe enough to open up in this way if the community wasn't led by women also. If there was a young girl right now who says, I want to be a leader like Lexi, but I don't know if I can because I have body image issues or because, you know, I'm a perfectionist. I don't know if I'm good enough or I'm, I'm, you know, what if I'm not good enough? What would you say to that girl? I think a lot of us have a lot of self-doubt. We listen to a lot of voices telling us we can't do things because whatever standard or whatever expectation they have of us. But knowing yourself, your capabilities, your wants, your wishes, and your dreams, you have all of that under your own control, having all the self-love that's going to make you unstoppable. And you just heard an excerpt from Better Together, how Lexi Naval found her community in fitness. Hear the full episode by searching for the Go Hard Girls podcast wherever you listen. This episode is made possible with support from Under Armour. Stay updated with the latest shows and events by Puma Podcast by signing up for our community newsletter. Visit pumapodcast.com to sign up. Maraming salamat po!